I was recently on a, an airplane the other day, and uh, I noticed some weird things. Like, you know the uh, safety video at the beginning of an airplane? <coughs> yeah, you do, but you don't really, because no one's paying attention. Like, if anything ever goes wrong in an airplane, we're all fucked. Because <laughs> no one was paying attention. And if you fly Ryanair, they don't even have a safety video. It's just a guy miming things out, all the other exits are over there somewhere. But they're clearly just painted on. Like, <laughs> it was an extra fee to get off. <laughs> I, was on a, I was on a Ryanair flight, and uh, the flight attendant, uh, when the part where they say, oh, the, the oxygen mask will fall out, the flight attendant was like, this. <laughs> those, those are Sainsbury's bags. <laughs> you know, it's funny, the only thing people do remember from those safety videos is that if the oxygen masks do fall out, you're supposed to put on yours first before you assist with the child. Right? Remember that? But if you do that, you're an awful parent, okay? That is awful advice, putting yourself ahead of your child like that. Could you imagine the trauma that kid's gonna go through seeing that? You'd be like, oh. Daddy's saving himself. <laughs> I guess all that talk about loving me was bullshit! <laughs> or let's say God forbid you're in that situation and your child dies because of that. Could you imagine the judgment you would face because of that? You'd be walking down the street, people would be like, oh, there goes John. His son died. <laughs> because he stole oxygen from his son! <laughs> no one's gonna be like, oh, there goes John. His son died. But he did the right thing. <laughs> He did what the video said to do. <laughs> you know what else is weird? I was on a, a flight and, uh, you know, they boarded first class first. And I think that's really weird. You may be thinking, oh no, they're at the front of the plane, of course they should be on first. But this leads to the most awkward situation a human being can go through. You know, it's the one where first class is seated, they're comfortable, and then the march of the riffraff comes through. <laughs> what makes this so awkward is that people in first class refuse to acknowledge that we exist. And I know everyone here applies to the economy because it's Stuart Bar, come on. So they refuse to acknowledge that we exist. They're always sitting there, just like, oh, I don't see anyone, I don't see anyone, I'm just reading, I'm reading The Economist like this, this is how I read. <laughs> Meanwhile, we, we can't take our eyes off of her, can we? We're always like, oh, let's just stare them down, make them feel guilty for having money. And if you're lucky, you can like hit them with a bag on the way back. 